Hello, in this video, I will show you how we can allow access to a particular user account of this computer to access this computer remotely. So let's see how we can do this thing. At first, just click on the start menu. Here we need to right click and then it will bring us this type of menu. From here, we have to choose settings. I'm going to click settings and the settings window will be open. From the left side, we'll find accounts menu is there. I'm going to click here accounts and here if we scroll down a little bit, then we'll see other users. If we click here, then here we'll see all the users of this computer. Right now, I'm, I logged in as a few steps this user, but there is another two user, which is few steps two and me. For this video, I'm going to allow remote access of this user, few steps two. So let's see how we can do this thing. So I'm going to close this window and then again right click on this start menu and then it will bring this type of options. From there we have to choose settings. So this is the settings. I'm going to click here settings and then from the left side we have to uh, use this search box. From this search box we have to find the remote settings. So I'm going to type click here and then I'm going to type remote. So once we click remote, then remote related stuffs will be there. Remote desktop settings option is there. We just need to click here and the remote desktop settings window will be appeared. Now we have to choose the account or user which can be used as a remote user. So here we have to choose this option, remote desktop user. We just need to click here and then it will bring us this type of window. So here, uh, this is the few steps, right? This user has already access, remote access permission. That's why we are seeing this on or off button. Now we need to add a second user, which can be used as a remote user. To add a new user, we just need to click add icon. I, I mean add button. This is the add button. So just click the add button and then it will bring this thing. Now we have to type the name of the user. So the other username which we already saw that is few steps and that is few steps too once we type it then we can check it whether it, this name is valid or not we can press this button check names and if it is valid then it will give us the whole name of this uh, user so i'm going to click this button check names and if the name is correct then it will show us the name of this user uh, this is few steps too so this is the username and the first part is the computer name so once we have this information added then we have to press ok button and then again press ok button and then that user account have access remotely of this windows computer if we want to double check we can click here whether that computer has remote access or not we can see that first test 2 has remote access permission okay and if we need to remove the remote access permission we can also select it and then we can use the remove button but i am not going to use the remove button rather i want to test it whether this uh, remote access is usable uh, to logging this computer or not so i am just going to press the ok button uh, to make the changes and then i'm going to close this window now i'm going to disconnect and i will use that few steps to account to check whether i can access remotely of this computer or not so i'm going to click here and then there is three dots just click here and then i'm going to use sign out and it will be signed out once the account is signed out then now i'm going to uh, access that computer remotely by using that username and and that user's name's password so the username was few steps two and i'm going to type the password And once I type the username and password, we can press the continue button, uh, and it is showing you you are uh, you you are uh, connecting the RDP host. Me this this is the company name. This certificate could not be verified back to a uh, root certification certificate. Your connection may not be secure. Do you want to continue? Then we have to press the continue button to access that computer remotely. And here we are seeing that it is going to logging few steps two, which is a user of that computer this is a new user right uh, i mean new user means this is the user uh, we, uh, where we put the permission to allow uh, this computer to use remotely and if it is allowed then we are able to use it this is for the first time i'm going to use this account uh, that's why it is taking some time and here it is asking uh, some permission i'm going to choose no each of them and then we are going to press the next button and then we have to press the accept button 
and here we are seeing this is the new account so let's see whether this is the new account or not i mean the uh, few steps to account or not we can check from here and here we are seeing few steps to account is there so that's it guys in this way we can easily allow the remote access so let's verify again one more time I right click and then choose settings and from here we have to use settings uh, remote here r-e-m-o-t remote and remote desktop settings once you click here here we will see that remote desktop uh, this is one so connect to this connect to and use this pc from another device using the remote desktop app. by default not by default we made it a uh, remote enable that's why it is on and here i cannot choose this thing because uh, this is not an admin account okay my this account is actually a standard account that's why i'm unable to change disable this thing if this is an admin account then i can turn it off okay but here basically uh, the main goal was to show you how, whether we can able to uh, enable remote desktop uh, for this particular user or not and we are able to show you that here we are able to access this computer by using uh, the user few steps to which is a um, another user this is a standard user and we, uh, we access this computer remotely that's it guys in this way we can easily enable the remote desktop permission to a particular user on our windows 11 computer thank you guys for watching the video